What's up? My name is Technobe here for Server Pro and welcome to our Valheim tutorial series. In this series, I'll show you how to set up and run a Valheim server. This video covers kicking and banning players from your Valheim server. So assuming you've got yourself a dedicated server and you've given yourself admin, you should be able to run admin commands simply using the in-game console. If you don't already have yourself a dedicated Valheim server that you can keep running 24-7 for you and your friends to play on, click the I in the top right hand corner or check the description down below for a link to a video explaining that. On top of that, you'll also need to have given yourself admin already on the server for things to work properly. Once again, if you'd like to know how to do that, click the I in the top right hand corner or click the link in the description down below. Once you've given yourself admin, you should be able to hit F5 to bring up the console as usual, but this time if you run commands that require admin, they should just work instead of complaining about you not having admin. So to begin, these three commands that I'm going to show you are incredibly simple and something that you can keep in mind, but actually using them can be a little bit more difficult than you think. So first of all, after we ban someone, we can see a list of banned players by simply typing banned into the console you'll see a full list of banned users and permitted users. Permitted users are basically users that are on a whitelist and are the only people that are allowed to connect if you have that option selected and you configured your server to work that way. Kicking someone is incredibly simple. You'll simply need to know their Steam name or Steam ID. If you know how to get a player's Steam ID, then that's great. Otherwise, once in the game, you can simply hit F2 to bring up a list of all players on the server, including yourself, and you'll see a list of players with their Steam IDs next to them. That's the 7656 etc etc number right there. Let's go ahead and kick myself as nobody else is on the server currently. Simply hit F5 to bring up your console and type in either kick or ban space followed by their Steam ID. So 76561198873730. After hitting enter, you'll notice that you freeze and then get kicked off of the server. Of course, that's only if you're kicking yourself, otherwise the player that you're kicking would experience exactly that being dropped onto the main menu once again. There we go, now we're back in game. That was obviously just a kick and not a ban. And of course we've loaded right back in simply because that was a kick and not a ban. Let's say you don't want to play around more permanently. We can hit F2, followed by F5, and we can type in ban space, followed by their Steam ID. So once again, 7656-11988-737-87711. After hitting enter, you should notice that there's a slight delay and eventually you'll be kicked off the server. Disconnected. Let's try and reconnect to our server. After entering a password, you can see that we're banned. So I've just banned myself off of my own server. How do we regain access to it without running the commands? Well, if you're using Server Pro to host your server, simply head across to the My Server section on your Server Pro dashboard, then click the Control Panel button next to your Server Pro VPS. On our VPS, we're running the Valheim service, so I'll click that at the very top to get into that window. Of course, if you'd like to know how to set up your Server Pro VPS or install Valheim and run your server on it, check the description down below once again. On the left hand side, click files and then navigate into the config folder. Once inside the config folder, you'll find three files, admin list, banned list and permitted list. Permitted list is the white list. Admin list is a list of all administrators on the server with their Steam IDs right below them. And we have banned list dot text. As you can see, list of banned players, one ID per line. Here's our Steam ID. All we have to do to remove our ban is simply remove that line of text click save file and then try to reconnect to the server. After doing this, even without a server restart, you can see we've logged into the server once again. Of course, if you were still on the server and you'd like to unban them, you can simply open up console, type in unban space, followed by their IP, name or user ID. It's pretty simple. But besides that, that's basically it for this video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!